I'd argue that the way that Beth and I look at our um, disease and how we deal with it is more on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I'd also argue that we don't really make it public in any sense. It doesn't define us. We don't want it to define us. We put it aside because it's, it's our struggle. It should not be anyone else's struggle but our own. Um, for that reason, I don't even look for sympathy from others because it's just, it's useless. It doesn't help in any way, and I don't think I deserve sympathy, to be quite honest. My name is Alex Porteous. I'm 22 years old. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in 2004 at the age of 10. I have diabetes. One of the first things I learned about myself is that I wouldn't let this disease hold me back from any activities. Having dealt with the disease for more than half of my life, I've learned a couple things about myself. I use activities as a way to distract myself from the disease. It's only when I eat when I really realize, oh hey, I'm diabetic. In my view, I keep it as private as I can because why would I want someone to judge me based off chronic disease that I don't think has much impact on who I am at all. Um, there's a lot going on in the background of my life that people don't know about um, and I just don't feel the need to share the struggle even with those who are close to me about day-to-day -day life because this disease and how I look at it, it is a day-to-day -day struggle. So one of the problems I have as a diabetic is um, sometimes my blood sugar will go either very low or very high um, and it's usually caused by events that happen earlier in the day. So right now it is um, almost 1 a.m. Um, making sure my blood sugar is at a level that I'm comfortable with um, so I can fall asleep. Overall, I think I'd say my relationship with my diabetes is based on the daily fight back and forth to stay in control of my body. I always look at it this way. 100 years ago, I would have died after a few months because nothing could have been done at the time to manage the disease. I am extremely lucky that insulin has been created and is commercially available to diabetics in need. And I do stay optimistic when it comes to the ongoing fight for the cure, taking place all over the world presently. However, that being said, even if I am stuck with this disease for the rest of my life, I simply cannot complain. It is not nearly as bad as it seems. The problems I have can be dealt with, and it is for that exact reason I refuse sympathy. Yes, my life is abnormal, but I make it seem normal, and in my mind, that's winning the fight right there. My name is Beth Porteous, and I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at 14 years old. Growing up, I never imagined being in a situation like this, especially not at this age but I'm 19 years old and this is my life. I definitely think that the age we were when we were diagnosed affects how we view our disease and how we treat it. I'm definitely more open about my struggles and Alex is a lot more reserved. Diabetes was always Alex's thing. Alex was diagnosed seven years before I was, so I've never had to struggle alone. And having him by my side this whole time has been truly a blessing. And I don't know what I'd do if I was in this alone. It's nice to have someone so close to you understand it to the extent that, you know, Alex does, because he has it. Like, I don't, I don't think you get it until you get it. This disease is definitely part of who I am, but it doesn't define me in any way. I've had it for almost five years, but it's still so new to me. My life is different, but it's my life. 
And even when I complain, I'll never say that I have it the worst, because I definitely do not. Even though type 1 diabetes is a full-time job, there are moments where I completely forget that I have it and I'm just in the moment with whatever I'm doing. I think with type 1 diabetes, it's hard to explain to people who want to know more how terrifyingly unpredictable but yet totally manageable this disease is. You don't want to scare them because the last thing you want is people worrying about you, but you just, you hope they understand the seriousness of this disease. I hope that me and Alex see a cure in our lifetime. I think that'd be really great. And that's just what I want the most. I don't want pity. I just want a cure.